mobile. Go mobile. What are you thinking, people? It is 2021. My name is Benjamin Tanker, also known as DJ Benji Rich, and I want to welcome you back. And you are now looking at this video because apparently you are looking to take your business mobile. I have been actually doing mobile business for the last five years. Uh, my first business that I started off with was the Nashville DJ truck. It was actually a mobile DJ truck that I built out of a Chevy P30 truck. Uh, and I've learned a lot during this journey of starting and running and now selling mobile businesses. And I know that you are here to learn and figure out how you can get into the business of buying, selling, or running a business mobily, um, whatever that may be. So make sure... You go to my Instagram, you like, you subscribe, you share my YouTube, you follow my business, Lead Tank Motors. That's my business. We sell mobile vehicles um, and we help you start them. So let's get started. Um, one of the main things that you need to know about going mobile is being mobile makes you stand out. Um, everybody's going to be looking at you different. This is uh, this is new, new. This is unique. I, like I said, I started doing mobile, um, mobile party bus for my, the national DJ truck was a mobile party bus. And I started doing that back in 2016. And when I first came out, people were looking at me like I was crazy. I had a whole FedEx box truck and I was DJing out the side and it was an amazing time. But the biggest thing that I got is I was before my time. This is when food trucks were just now coming out also and getting very popular. And, um, it just was a big headache with people who were afraid of what they didn't know. People fear what they don't know. So uh, make sure you are operating with all your permits and all your paperwork because people are afraid of what they do not know. So the first thing is picking your niche, picking the thing that you want to take mobile. There are a lot of businesses that you can do mobile. You can do pet grooming, you can do a food truck, you can do um, mobile DJing, you can do mobile detailing, you can do hot dog cart, uh, you can do mobile salon, you can do a mobile boutique, you can do um, a mobile clinic, you can do mobile pandemic pandemic coronavirus testing. Um, you can do pretty much anything mobile, um, especially now in 2021, there's a lot of things changing and a lot of states uh, are still on shutdown from the coronavirus, which meaning they are not allowed to have people on the inside of the restaurants, which is forcing them outside. In Los Angeles, um, in Los Angeles right now, they have never came off of being on lockdown and all the restaurants are having to operate outside and all the businesses also. So when I visited there, they had the nail salons. They were actually doing the nails outside. I hop, all the restaurants were doing business outside. And at least you were an essential need and you had to be inside. You were not allowed to be running your business. So make sure you have a business that's an essential need during the time right now, 2021, this national pandemic, whatever that may, whatever that may be or the need you can feel in your area. So number one, you got to find your niche. Find what you're going to be doing. Me, it was, uh, I got a food truck. I have my mobile party bus. And now I actually sell mobile businesses to people. I customize them and I sell them. And I also import and I export. So if you need a truck, hit me up. I'm your guy. So number one is finding your niche. Number two, you need to figure out your budget. You need to figure out how much is it going to cost you to actually get started and actually get things going. This is very uh, crucial to your business because I did not do this. I actually just kind of hopped in head first. Um, I sold my wife's car for $1,500. She wasn't driving it. And I actually um, purchased a Chevy P30, like I said, for $1,500. And I knew I had a dream. I was on a mission and I was after a goal. And I just kept dumping all my money into the truck. I do not advise that to nobody else. This is the point where I'm telling you, you need to create a budget to figure out if this is for you, if this is in your budget, how long this is going to take. And if you can really afford to be doing this, because this is a major project just to be stepping out there thinking it's a, it's not like that. It costs it's always something happening uh, it's a miscellaneous cost with mobile you know but once you get going baby baby when you going you going so uh so after you have figured out the total budget of what it needs to get started you need to see how fast can you work that up that budget or do you have that budget saved can you get finance how are you going to get this money how are you going to get this money and will what you're doing actually work in your city can you get permits for it you know what I mean? Um, 
Just figure out. Go around, talk to people, Google, do a lot of research. Research, 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 research. Understand that people. Research is going to be your best friend during this whole process. Just the way you found me, and I'm telling you how you can start your mobile business. Research, research. Always keep researching. Always keep learning and figuring out ways to grow your business. So after we get past the budget, after we get past finding out what we want to do, our niche after we find out our budget and can we get the codes and restrictions and things done for the actual bus now it's actually going out finding and picking your bus where are you going to get your bus from are you going to buy your bus from me you're going to buy your bus from the internet you're going to buy it from google you're going to buy it from facebook market you can buy it from craigslist make sure this is the part where i'm talking about be very detailed when you're looking for the buses. I started off and I had three buses that were all used. My first three buses, my first three mobile businesses. And I have to tell you, the biggest thing I had issues with was the freaking engine. The engine, the engine, the engine, the water pump, the fuel pump, uh, the electric, the door, the window, the fire escape. Like if, if it wasn't one thing, it was another with these older trucks. I understand when you get you a 1990, a 2000 P30, one of these old school buses, one of these old FedEx trucks, understand they're going to run, but they're going to have their issues also. So understand where you're looking, have somebody go out there with you, have a mechanic go check out the vehicle that you would like to purchase before you purchase it because you will buy a dudded out vehicle i have purchased a bus before that had a whole bad transmission and it ended up costing me six grand to replace so understand me it will add up it will cost you and um just understand i want you guys to to be very mindful of when you're looking for stuff and when you're actually trying to pick this big investment. This is like a house. <laughs> this is like a car. This is going to be something that's going to cost you a lot of money and you don't want to dump money into something and it actually just be a waste of money or a waste of time or a loss of money. So make sure you are actually looking on. Uh, I got both of my buses off of all my buses have came off of Facebook market. Facebook market, uh, all three buses came off Facebook market, and all my other buses have come from the internet off of Google. Make sure you guys are looking real good on Facebook market. Um, Craigslist used to be a credible source. I don't shop there anymore, but Craigslist, uh, there are, if you go into the search engine on Google, but I think if you stick with Facebook market, and uh, Google, you will, you'll find you, um, you'll find you a truck. You'll find you either an electric truck, you find you a trailer, you'll find you a hot dog car, you'll find you um, uh, a school bus, you'll find you a Chevy P30. Understand um, any of those things are good. You know, if you're coming to entry level and you want to start off on a cheap end, I would say start off with a $1,500 hot dog car. The high dollar cars are going easy on uh, Marketplace and Craigslist for about fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred, and with that you can actually hit the ground running. You actually can can get the um, high dollar car be downtown the next day. Like you know, I'm a hustler, so I'm gonna go downtown start making money the next day. But make sure you do get your permits. Make sure you do get your codes. Make sure you're doing things the proper way. So when somebody tries to stop you, you're actually in the right position to respond back to them and not get shut down or get fined or have anything happen to your cart or your business. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, after you have found you a truck, uh, like I said, make sure you went through the truck, make sure you look at all the detail. This is one of my electric trucks right here. Uh, and I am in love. Uh, I love these things. Uh, they're amazing. They're different. They're unique. They stand out. They make people their, their head turners. Uh, so that's why I choose to go the electric route. And these are not street legal. They are considered RVs. So I actually pulled this on a trailer when I take it from location to location. So that is the pro and con to having an electric um, an electric uh, food truck is that you're going to have to tow it from A to B or you're going to have to have a tow bar in the front to tow it on the back of your truck because uh, it is not street legal and it's not fast enough to go uh, the speed you need it to go to, um, to do what you need it to do. Um, but it is better when you're running into issues as far as breaking down. You won't break down with it. Uh, and it is an eye catcher also. So um, 
We use a lot of these uh, electric trucks downtown Nashville. Uh, I'm the first one to start supplying them. Uh, I'm actually the second person in the uh, USA to actually import them to the USA. So like once again, if you need an importer, exporter, I'll have uh, two importers, which is me and one of my other uh, associates out of Memphis, Tennessee. We are importers uh, and exporters and dealers of these electric food trucks and trailers. Uh, so once again, uh, get connected with us. We're here to help you guys. Any questions, follow up on our DM, like, subscribe to our YouTube. Um, we're here to help you actually grow your mobile business and get to that next level. Once you have actually found your vehicle, your truck, your trailer, your cart, your bus, whatever you're going to, uh, whatever you're going to get to do your business in, uh, you need to see how much is it going to cost you to get customized because customizations do cost uh, the, the equipment, the, all the metal things on the inside, the sinks. It's a lot of things that actually cost more than what you think. So remember, go back to your budget and all those things you know you need. Starting the boutique, the lights, the racks, starting a hot dog stand, getting the sink running, getting your materials, uh, your condiments, your... Uh, your silverwares, whatever you need, just uh, go and start adding all those things up because those things will add up very quick and you want to be able to make sure you're not running out of your budget or you're not spending too much money in places you shouldn't be spending money. Especially when you are ordering these food trucks from across seas. Understand when you are ordering these food trucks from across seas. Understand when you are ordering these food trucks from across seas. Whether you order them from me, whether they're in, a, imported or exported by me, or whether you order them from or rather you order them from the internet. You need to understand, pay attention to detail. These people are not from America. These are not American made. They are made from Brazil, Australia, and China. So you have to be very clear with them on instruction. I need American power cords. I need American equipment. I need American warmer. Be very clear about American, 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 because if not, you will end up with Chinese grade equipment and you'll have to change stuff you have to change stuff once you actually get it. So right here, if you will see your look, this right here is a Chinese plug. This is a Chinese plug. Uh, also another Chinese plug. So I didn't tell them on this truck that I needed American made plugs. So because I didn't do that, they put Chinese plugs because this truck came from China. I was trying to be a new manufacturer. So understand when you're trying out new distributors of these trucks, you're getting them custom made across seas or you're dealing with the importer, exporter, or even with a dealer like myself, make sure you're very detailed about the things that you want. AC unit, you know what I mean? The sinks, the warmers, the fryers, you know, the back hand washing seat, the flat top. I'm sitting on top of the refrigerator right now. You see what I'm saying? So you have to be very, very detailed. In this truck right here, I didn't have them install a hood in this truck. So this truck is actually missing a hood, which you need a hood to pass health codes. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying you have to be very detailed in everything that you're saying when you are ordering these trucks because everything that you're not saying, you're saying. So understand I'm being very clear to you. I want to help you. I want you to be able to order these trucks. I, even want, to, I want you to be able to hit the ground running, starting whatever business that you want to start. Whether it be boutique, mobile clinic, food truck, food car, um, mobile DJ truck, whatever it is, I want you to be successful and I want you to, be able to hit the ground running where can't nobody stop you because this is the time to do it. If you're going to do anything mobile, going mobile is now. Starting a business mobile is now. Having that overhead of a brick and mortar, them things, them days are over. <laughs> over. Uh, so back to business. Uh, also, with purchasing online, understand when you are purchasing online, you need to make sure that you are dealing with a certified uh, vendor. Make sure that your vendor has trade assurance or some kind of warranty for your equipment uh, and some kind of validation that they are a, a, um, a verified supplier and seller. So that way you don't have nobody who just started working on food trucks or building food trucks to come in and put their hands on your food truck or or you be their test project. Because I have dealt with a vendor where I was one of their first people, one of their first trucks, and there were some defects and things with the truck that I did not like. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't that upsetting. But understand, when I'm spending 15 to 20 grand, I need that thing to be A1, day one. You know what I mean? Because when you come to me and you spend that amount on these trucks, uh, you're going to want everything to be what it needs to be so that way 
you getting what you pay for, period. You, you want to get what you pay for. So make sure you have verified sellers. Make sure their equipment is American grade equipment and not Chinese equipment. If their equipment is not American grade, you need to order the bare minimum from them just to get the actual truck here imported or whatever you need and then buy American grade equipment once it gets to America. I actually waited to this bus got to America to buy an American flat top, a flat top from America. Up under all this right here, you can't see it. I have a Chinese flat top, but we don't use that. We need American grade flat top. These, these right here are American grade, American grade fryers. If you look right here, this one right here, ooh, this one right here is not American grade. This is China. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta be very specific about what you want because what, what you don't say, they will give you the opposite of. I got American warmers. Um, and yeah, AC, AC is China, but it's an AC and heat unit. So central air. So that's good for you. And then the generators are all hidden underneath there. So people understand when you are buying these trucks, just be very detailed about what you want. Like I said, make sure you draw out your plan, draw out what all needs to be inside have a checklist so you nor your supplier nor your export agent forgets any of these things because uh they will affect you in the long run um uh another thing if you are getting an electric food truck or if you are getting a food truck from the internet or if you are getting a food truck from across the seas uh out of the country understand there are import and export fees and understand you need to hire you an uh, an import export agent that is myself and i know a few other people but uh it's an import export agent where you will be able to deal with will you deal with us and we'll, we'll we will connect you with your, your logistics handler your custom agent uh, your cleaning fees, all your extra fees that will be coming along with the truck will be there to walk you through. The biggest the biggest thing that I learned from this process of ordering uh, these food trucks from, um, from across seas is the fact that when you buy it from the website or whoever you're buying your food truck from, understand there is an export fee, there is an import fee, there is a logistics fee, there is a clean, there is a disinfectant fee, there is a dock fee, there are the warehouse fees, there are the sitting fees. Um, uh, like understand, the first time I ordered these buses, I actually lost an extra 10 grand because I was not prepared and I did not have my paperwork together. So understand, Understand, you will lose money if you do not have an import or export agent. It is a lot of paperwork. It is a lot of back and forth. You're gonna have to be on the head. Understand, I'm really stressing this. Like, like I lost the money and I became an import and export agent because I I actually went to go buy information to learn to get it done because I was already so deep. I was I was dishing so much money out, so much money. That's why I'm stressing. Like, yes, these food trucks and trailers look very cheap online but understand that you paying you paying the factory you paying the supplier you are just only paying them their job is only to sell you a product their job is to only only show you this is a, a food truck this is a food trailer you see this this is nice buy it from me you'll buy it from them but they'll not tell you that you also have an extra three grand shipping fee then you have the export fees to get it from china then you have to put it on the truck that cost you then it's going to take you it's going to take about 45 50 days on the water to get to get over to, uh to america depending on what shipping company you use because they go up different ways to get to america depending on what port you have it shipped to and then make sure your logistics agents contact them before it hits the port because if your food truck hits the port before you contacted them and you've paid your your custom fees they'll charge you a five thousand dollar fine that's where my fees came from when I, when I told you guys that i was getting charged extra fees so this is why i stress to you guys make sure that if you are importing a custom uh food truck inside of the united states you have an import or export agent to help you with that so you do not lose any money or you do not get scammed by anybody because there are scammers shipping scammers there are the logistic companies scammers there are freaking import expert agents
after you have found you somebody to import or export your trucks or if you found some trucks inside of the united states on marketplace of course you would set up times to go see the trucks so that way you can check out the inside you can check out the engine you can check out the trailer or whatever you have um, for people who are having stuff custom made, make sure you are getting pictures and videos of the process with your truck. You want to be hands on and make sure things are being done the proper way and your truck is being built in the most of in the most uh, sturdy, efficient way that'll be profitable for you and your business. So that way you don't have to come back to the drawing board in case anything happens. Because understand these people are in China and everything that you need from them is in China. So understand that there's an extra shipping fee. Each time you need something or something was forgot, uh, I was missing an extra battery one time. I was missing the water pumps for one of the trucks. So understand stuff happens. I've learned to cross my cross my T's and dot my I's. If you don't, life happens. They'll accidentally forget things out or they just blatantly just won't care. They have, have a rough day. So understand that um, all the knickknacks do matter. Um, next, you need to worry about shipping. Uh, shipping, there is going to be shipping wherever you buy a food truck from. You're either going to have to go pick it up or you're going to have to get it shipped to you or you're going to have to go get it shipped over, from across seas to America and then from America to your house. Make sure you, you've done your research on shipping and you have a good qualified shipper because that is going to be very vital in keeping your expenses low with getting your truck to you if you have purchased from across seas or if you have purchased from across the country. You know, uh, LA has a lot of good cheap food trucks, but just to get a food truck from LA all the way to Nashville is going to cost you about a good $2,500, I would say, about $2,500. So I would I would really advise you check into the shipping. Also with with China right now with COVID nineteen the pandemic going on, <clears throat> I used to get shipping cheap. One of my buses, one of my buses ended up only on the cost of me. I think it was eleven hundred for shipping. But now I just did um I just did an inquiry about another truck and it was going to be thirty five hundred dollars just for shipping. So make sure you do your calculation on shipping before before you get involved. Uh, before you get involved because it will come around and bite you in the tail and you'll be upset once again having another setback having to wait to start your business and get started going okay <clears throat> after you have gotten your truck your trailer after you have custom built it out yourself like i've mentioned i've built out multiple party buses myself the national dj truck i did my first three by myself and or with me and my uncle of course and then now um i have now created a uh, lead tank motors where i buy sell and trade food trucks and i have two food trucks of my own uh, so once you get the trucks you need to fully make sure all the equipment works inside the trucks like go through everything cut everything on every faucet every light bulb every screw every bulb make sure everything works make sure, make sure everything's functioning you need to go do a walkthrough of your food truck of your business of whatever you have to make sure it's ready to go because if you created this business plan if you created if you have this niche if you have this budget if you follow these steps to actually starting and growing your um your mobile business you should already have had social media pages created you should have already already had your, your uh, ein numbers like that's ba basic business ethics so if you don't have basic business ethics you can sign up for the i hustle e brand where i would teach you how to start and run a business from scratch uh so that can also help you uh if you need more detail on how to start and get your business up and running, which you shouldn't be this far into the process if you haven't already done joint there first. So with that being said, this is coming to an end. If you have any questions, make sure you uh, you leave me a comment. Uh, I will answer any DMs. You know, I'll talk to you. Any knowledge you want to know about uh, owning you a food truck, getting started with a mobile business, whatever that may be. Like I said, right now, I own a food cart. I own two food trucks and I actually sell these. I've already sold six of them now. 
So if you would like to get inside of one of these electric food vehicles, or you would like a trailer, if you would like a hot dog cart, if you would like to just start a business, any kind of business, make sure you follow from my DM at DJ Benji Rich. Uh, follow Mass Influence Media. And I look forward to working, linking up, and building a great business with you. I would just love to help you start a business from nothing and make it something so you can be financially free to do what you need to do in 2021. Don't let nobody stop you. Let's get it. I would like to say thank you to everybody that purchased this ebook, How to Start a Mobile Business. Um, I've been doing this for five years and it's been a journey and I promise you I'm excited about what is ahead of me. If you got to the end of this video and you are amped up, you're excited to get to the next level and start your mobile business today, go ahead and get on Facebook Market, do some research, or if you're just ready to go ahead and come directly to me and buy you an electric vehicle, a food cart, um, a hot dog cart, a food trailer. If you're ready to get into the mobile business, make sure you contact me, Benjamin Tankard at Lead Tank Motors. Uh, that is us on Instagram and on Facebook. Or give me a phone call at 615-546-8248. Or shoot me an email at djbenjirich at gmail.com. I'm excited to work with you guys. And I look forward to help you build your mobile business and go out there and grow and expand and be the best that you can be to go where you want to go and not have anybody stop you and you have financial freedom. Hit me up. Mass Influence Media. DJ Benji Rich.